Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay, because I was having some problems with the with the audio, but I think now it's everything correct. Let me see. Oops, sorry. That's not my camera. Oops, sorry. That's either not my camera. Wait a second. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to put it here like this. That's better. Pero espérenme que esta cámara se ve como que nunca la hemos limpiado, guys. No puede ser eso posible. Give me a second. Okay, and how was your weekend? ¿Qué tal sus fines de semana? How was your weekend? Very good. So, so, working. Nice, teacher. Nice. Do you work on the weekends? Yes, teacher. The Saturday. But you have off Friday, half. I mean, Sunday off. Uh, uh, half, half, uh, Saturday. And Sunday? Uh, no, in, in relaxing. Ah, okay, okay, relaxing, perfect. Okay, thank you very much, Heidi. Okay, guys, I hope you have completed section three in the midterm because they were due on Thursday, right? Remember, and we were doing the midterm here in the class. This week, we're gonna work, we're gonna be working on section four and next week on section five. And after that, we're gonna be done with this module. And then I think, I think you're gonna be um, advanced. I, I think you're, go no, you're going to pre-advanced two. I'm guessing because this is pre-advanced one and you're going to pre-advanced two. Okay, but so far, do you have any questions about the platform or any questions about the course you wanna ask me right now? Uh, no? Not yet, teacher, not, not yet. Okay, okay, thank you, Heidi. The rest of the class? Nope, Janet says no. No, no, oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so if you don't have any more questions, we're going to start with the class because I need to start with today's topic and we're going to do some other pronunciation practice today. Let me share my first slide with you. Oh, but first, send me here to the chat the date. What day is today? Because I need to see if you're paying attention to how to write the date. So send here, what is the date for today? Send it only to Inves Corporativo, please. Because if you send it to everybody, it's like you're copying, right? Like everybody's gonna see your answer. Okay, please help me. Perfect, Adriana, good job. Thank you. Good job, Jose. But only remember that days and months, they have the first letter capital. So the first one is a capital letter. Yes, Marcos, but only a problem there with the letters next to the date. The same with Milton, the same problem. And Milton, we're in 2022. <laughs> we're not in 2020. Yo sé que se ha sentido como que todo, nunca superamos el 2020, but yeah, we're into 2022. <laughs> we're already there. Seguimos viviendo en pandemia. We're still on the pandemic. So it feels like 2020. Uh, and remember the letters next to the number. Letters next to the number. They need to be different. Aha, aha, aha. I see some problems here. Mm hmm. Y me lo están viendo para todos. 
Send it to everybody. Oh. Aha. Okay, this is, this is what I wanted to see. And um, I see that we have that problem. So we're gonna fix that. Okay, so this is correct. Remember always, always days of the week, the first letter is capital, right? Monday, M is capital. Then we have the month that is January, like that, January. Tomorrow is gonna be February as well. And then here, yes, we write the date that is 31, but we don't say 31, we say what? 30? Help me. Third, uh, first. 31st. So 31st, the last letters of 31st are the H? No, ST. ST. Right, so we need to write 31st because it's not like the other dates, it's 31st. And then of course we have 2022 or 2022. I'm just gonna do a little reminder here so you can remember this part. Remember that this one for the dates is an ordinal number. It's like the first, this is second, and this is third, third, like that, okay? And then we have some like fourth, fifth. So when you write the date, what you are writing is the last part, the last two letters. You see? You're writing the last two letters there. So when we write the date, for example, uh, I don't know, February, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I think it's like February 20. So the last letters for this 22, Two are gonna be 20? Second. Second. So the last letters are what? And D. And D. So February 22nd. So you need to pay attention there because I know that maybe you have practiced this, but sometimes we forget these things. So don't worry about that. Okay, so the date for today is going to be that one. And someone is going to help me right now to read it. Okay, so let's see who's here. Who's here in the class? Who's here? Who's here? Las camaritas apagadas dicen yo, mi teacher. Okay, so let's go with Max Vasquez. Max. Can you help me reading the date for today, please? Okay, teacher. Okay, sorry about the, the law of the, the dog. Oh, it's okay. Monday, January 31st, 20, 2022. 2022. Thank you, Max. Thank you very much. Thank you to you, teacher. It's sometimes, guys, <laughs> you know what is a rooster? Do you know what is a rooster? No, you don't know the meaning of a rooster. So a rooster, do you know what is a hen? But not like a hand. It's a hen. Hen. Do you know the meaning of hen? No? So what is the meaning of hen, Marcos? I know. Yeah, exactly. So the male version rooster of a hen is, is a Exactly, excellent. So sometimes when I'm teaching in the morning or in the afternoons, I have a, I have many roosters around me, okay? Like I don't have roosters, but my neighbors have roosters. The thing is like, sometimes I'm teaching and I'm speaking and then you, you hear the ke, 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 like that. And that I tell my students, that is my rooster. 
speaking English. That's just so you can see or, or if you can understand that they can speak. Actually, you know what is enomatopeia? Do you know the meaning of enomatopeia? Onomatopeia, no? You don't know the meaning of onomatopeia. So, oh, yeah or no? No. Okay. Onomatopeia, no es que cuando alguien lo va a atropellar y dice, oh no, matopeia. No, verdad. Una onomatopeia <ríe> es el sonido de las cosas. Como bam, como kikiriki, como mu. Wow, miau, eso es una onomatopeya, los sonidos de las cosas y los animales, perdón. So, las onomatopeyas en inglés son diferentes a las del español. So, for example, in an, the sound of a rooster for Spanish speaking people is kikiriki, right? But in English, pay attention, in English is cockerel do. So, people think. A rooster says, cock a doo do And no, kikiriki, cock a do That's what they think the rooster says. So when you hear a rooster in my background, yo les digo a mis estudiantes, si ustedes escucharon ese gallo, vieron que no dijo kikiriki, dijo cock a do do Pero como no me ponen atención al English, you don't know that. Así que el perro de Max estaba diciendo ahí, no estaba diciendo wow, wow, sino que estaba diciendo woof, woof. That's the sound of a, of a dog in English, right, Max? Después de ese pequeño comercial que nadie me pidió, patrocinado por Inglés Corporativo. <laughs> <laughs> Seguimos. Okay. Now, um, would you mind helping me, please? Sa, 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 sa. A ver, Sandra. Ajá. Yo sabía que hizo Sandra. Sandra, can you help me reading the topics, please? The topics. But I cannot hear you. No, you, I cannot. Nope. Nope. I can see you're moving your mouth, but no, I cannot see you. I don't know what is the problem, but you can hear me? Uh, okay, we're gonna try to fix that later. It's okay. Uh, let me see here. Janet, would you mind helping me, please? 4.1, around the campfire. 4.3, past continuous, simple past. Okay, thank you very much, Janet. You're welcome. So the 4.1, guys, is a reading, and the 4.3 is a topic that we're gonna be looking at today. But before we start with that, I would like to introduce another idiom. Do you remember what is an idiom? Marcos, tell me. Point four two, where is no, it? No, 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 no. Where is it, point four two? Point four two. Point four two is an, um, is an objective. Remember uh, okay. that in the platform we have objectives, we have topics, and we have uh, the, what is this? The homeworks, yeah, we have the homeworks. Okay, but anyways, do you remember idioms? Um, cat got your tongue, um, easy, yeah. It's a, it's a piece of cake. Uh -huh, things like it's that. Easy. So we're gonna do another one today. We're gonna learn another one today. And the one that we have for today is, this one, under the weather. What do you think it means when we say under the weather? What do you think is the meaning of that? Under the weather. Mm, close. O bajo la lluvia. Yeah, close, close. But what do you think is the meaning? When do they use that? For example, uh, they use piece of cake when something is easy. Cut, cut your tongue when people don't speak. What, when do you think they use under the weather? No idea? A little idea. Maybe teacher, when, when you when try something. Nope. Okay, okay, okay. okay. People, okay. People, you feel no good. 
Ok, ok, ok. Adriana said something new and Max said, when you feel not good. Ok, yes, the close one is Max, when you don't feel good. For example, I say, you know, today I don't feel well. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. Ok, that means that you are feeling a little bit sick. So let me show you a video where they use that. Let's do it again. Um, Marcos, you're on a computer and Janet, you're on a computer as well. Okay, so you're gonna help me sharing the video with your classmates and remember to share the sound so they can hear the video perfectly. So there you go. Play the video. I, I cannot play it because YouTube and stuff, you know. Uh, play the video and then we're going to see some examples where we can use feeling under the weather. In one group, I'm going to have Marcos and another group, I'm going to have Janet. Okay, let's go. Glenda, I send you the invite to the breakout rooms.
hello, welcome back. So when I say hello, welcome back, I feel like I'm on, on a YouTube channel saying, hello, welcome back. Thank you for watching again. Like so things like that, right? It sounds like that. Okay. So Glenda, it, I mean, Sandra is now working or not? The audio? Yes, I think so. Yes, now it's working. What was the uh, problem? I think that it's my computer uh, because I have this problem the last week too. So I don't know what happened with my computer. Maybe, I don't know, sometimes Zoom asks for permissions. So maybe the permissions you gave Zoom Porque a veces los permisos de Zoom no están bien. Uh -huh. Maybe can be that. Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe you can. Yeah, you can look on YouTube. Sometimes YouTube has the answers. <laughs> Always YouTube, right? Thank you. Okay, very good. But now it's good that I can hear you. Okay, pretty good. Now, now when you do under the weather you know that you can say that you're not feeling well, you're feeling ill. And as you could see in the examples that we have on the video, um, we use it, or most people use it in the United States to talk about illness. Illness is like sick, being sick for illness. And guys, try to use it instead of saying, I'm feeling sick, say, I'm under the weather today or I'm feeling under the weather today, because that way you're gonna sound more natural. For example, today I, I don't know, I worked a lot and I'm really tired and I feel under the weather. Or sometimes you like, I have a big headache. I have, I, I am under the weather today. Things like that, don't say I'm sick because that sounds really basic. And if you say under the weather, you're going to sound more natural, like when we speak in Spanish, right? Okay, we're going to do, let me check here. Okay, we have simple present and we have past, simple, I mean, simple. Present continuous, past continuous, and we have simple past. Remember for the simple past, we change the verbs and we change them to, um, to the form in the past. For example, let me show you here an example. Uh, let me erase this and let's do this. We have a sentence in the past and we said like, for example, I went to the party. Is this is just an example, okay? I went to the party, <clears throat> like that. So I went to the party is the example to talk about a simple past. But for example, I can also talk about the past by using the past continuous to talk about an ongoing situation that happened in the past, but already finished. For example, I was going to the party. Okay, both of them are in the past, but the first one talks about an activity that happened and finished. And the second one talks about an activity that was happening. Maybe it didn't happen or maybe it happened. I was going to the party, but I couldn't. But I couldn't. Okay, let's see here. The most important thing here is for you to understand that the simple past or, or the way in the simple past, it's that we only change this, the verb. For example, the verb in the present is go and we're gonna change it to went. Then when we're talking about the past continuous, we're gonna use the verb be, I'll say an auxiliary, like an ex for example, when we're speaking in, in present continuous, I am speaking English. I'm like verb to be is an auxiliary verb in that case to talk about an ongoing situation. So in this case, when we talk about past continuous, 
the verb that is going to change to the past is the verb be. It's not I am in this case, it's going to be I was. And then the verb, main verb, it's going to be with the gerund I and G. Let's do another example. I. No. I cooked last night. Okay. I was cooking at night. Maybe you called me. Okay, a friend says, hey, I called you and you didn't answer. Oh, I was cooking. I'm sorry. Right? That's your, gonna be your answer. I was cooking. But it's different if someone tells me, hey, I was calling you last night and you didn't answer. And I say, I cooked last night. Porque ni en español tiene sentido. Si le llaman y le preguntan y le dicen, mira, te estaba llamando y no me contestaste. Ah, anoche cociné. ¿Y? Pero si me llaman y les digo, eh, ah, es que anoche estaba cocinando cuando me llamaste, right? It makes sense. So in that case, I'm going to use I was cooking at night. Because by the context, you're going to know how to use this. What activity were you doing in that moment? So I was doing this activity in that moment. But if I'm just going to tell it like a story, I can use just the simple past. Do you have questions about it? In the example, I have not finished. In the last example, I was to cooking at night. I was cooking. To cooking, cooking. no. Cooking. What? You don't understand the last, last example? No. Uh, yes. You understand it or not? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. So the last example is, I was cooking at night, estaba cocinando en la noche, estaba cocinando, okay? So that's what I'm telling you. For example, if someone tells you, hey, I called you last night, and you didn't answer, you're going to say, I was cooking. That's why I didn't answer, right? An activity was happening, that activity was happening when you called me, okay? But then the other one is just to talk about the past, to talk about an activity that already, sorry, my computer is running out of battery. There we go. Okay. So when you use the simple past, it's just to talk about an activity that happened in the past. Also with the past continuous. But in the past continuous, you're going to talk about activities you were doing in a certain time. For example, if someone asks me, what did you do on Sunday? I'm going to say, I went to work. I bought some food. Just like that. I'm going to use just the simple past. But for example, if someone asks me, and with the past continues as well, what were you doing in the morning? I'm going to say, in the morning, I was teaching a class. Because if I said, what were you doing in the morning? The answer cannot be, I taught a class. Okay? Because, vaya, se lo voy a hacer en palabras simples. Cuando me preguntan en presente continuo, en pasado continuo, voy a responder en pasado continuo. El pasado continuo se utiliza para un periodo de tiempo. ¿Qué estaba haciendo yo en ese momento específicamente? Estaba haciendo. ¿Qué es de lo que se trata? El pasado continuo. Y el pasado simple solamente es para hablar de una actividad que pasó. Así como yo cociné anoche. Okay. No puedo decir yo estaba cocinando. Ah, miren, y yo estaba cocinando anoche. Usted va a esperar que yo le diga algo después de eso, ¿verdad? Y si no lo digo, como, ajá, ¿y qué? Entonces, I was cooking last night and my mom called me. Y mi mamá me llamó, right? Something like that. Tiene que haber algo más. But if I say, hey, I cooked last night. Entonces, ah, qué bien, cocinaste anoche. I cooked last night. So, las actividades que solo se van a encontrar así, como just like that, it's going to be past simple. But if you're going to add something, 
or if it was happening in a certain period of time, you're gonna use past continuous, okay? Yeah? Thank you. Okay, now with that in mind, we're gonna do an activity. So I'm gonna send you a link here and we're gonna use that link. Dang it, give me a second. Here, okay. So we're gonna send, we're gonna do that right now with your classmates. But guys, please, when you're working with your classmates, don't be like, esta respuesta, that is the answer, that is the answer. Talk with your classmates and say, why, why do you think this is the answer? Oh, because I think like the teacher said that the, an the answer needs to be like this and this and this. Speak with your classmates. No solo le den la respuesta. Okay, talk and see why. Let's do the first example together. It says past continuous or past simple. The plane was flying to, par to Paris when it crashed. Aha, uh -huh. the plane flew to Paris when it crashed or was flying? Flew or was flying? What do you think is the answer? Was flying. Was flying, an activity that happened in a certain period of time, right? Yes. And we have a context to it. Okay, so we're gonna do the other activities. I mean, you're gonna do the other activities and I'm gonna send you to small groups. If you're not on a computer, you can always share the screen of your phone, but just to see. So, Jose Manuel, you're on a computer, right? Jose Manuel? Yes, teacher. Okay, so you can share the screen. Marcos and also Sandra, right? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, Janet. Janet, Janet, right, yeah, let's go. William, you have the you have the invite to the breakout rooms. William.
When I arrived, I went into the kitchen. Okay. Yep. Uh, for the first in bracket is the past temper or past continue. When the teacher, the verb is come. Was coming. Coming. Mm -hmm. Into the room to play. play. It's a verb. The boy was playing. Play, play, yeah. In chief. Play football. When the teacher was coming in the room, the to boy play, were to, playing, maybe. Were playing. The boy were playing, yeah. We were playing football. Mm -hmm. turned on the TV. The bird turned. 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 Just simple pass. Peter. Turned on. Mm -hmm. Turned. The TV, but nothing was happening. Mm. Miguel, read. Seven. Jim was breaking a brook. He slept when the, he was playing golf. Mm. Mm. Okay, for me, it's a simple pass, bro. Simple pass. Bro. Because, yeah. because I, and the end is a point. Finish yeah, but the sentence. You don't. You don't say uh, because not, la pierna, just, not, uh, mm -hmm. not, not yeah. uh, was playing is using in argument is not is continuous. No, it's past simple. Yes, but okay. simply because it's, it's yeah, because bro, Jim he, broke his leg when playing mm -hmm. golf. Mm -hmm. Se quebró la pierna cuando jugaba. No podía uh -huh. decir no, se estaba se quebrando estaba la quebrando. pierna. No, está, estaba quebrando <laughs> de la pierna. Uh, yes. Just listen to me. Listen to me but, in the the number six. So in the number six, you have my father were cooking or my father cooked lunch when I got home. So. My father is a third person. What is the verb to be for my father? Was. Was. Entonces, do you think it's correct to say we're cooking? Uh, no, teacher. No, teacher. No. Okay, so it should be you cooked. Right. Cooked. Right. Yes. 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 Sure. yes. Perfect. Yes. Thank you, seven teacher. Seven broke. Seven broke. Eight. Adriana, really? Eight. Is eight. My brother was young. I think it's go, um, what arriving. Uh, uh, but, uh, past continuous. I. Do you agree with that? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Pass uh, and mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think it uh, other activity below the the both maybe both activity and the in the dark time
Uh, uh, the, the, this, this. Erase that answer. You have to put uh, what? Uh, mm -hmm. Happy. Mm -hmm. In simple the past. Simple past. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it could be both one. But mm. put, put just, uh, I'm not sure if past. both are <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Happening. Uh -huh. But you have to erase what? Um, write it in the chat, please. I don't know. Add letter E. Next. N. ENG. No. No. And the same. Simple past for ing. Is ing or ing? Uh, we have I a discussion about uh, okay. that. Uh, past. No, here, here. Continue, um, continue or simple past <laughs> happening okay. or what's happening? Peter turned on the TV, but nothing was happening. Happening, okay. Mm -hmm. Happening. Porque si no me dicen, Peter estaba encendiendo la tele y nada estaba pasando. Pero mejor que digan, Peter encendió la tele y no estaba Ajá. pasando nada. Turn it on. Yo pensaba que era algo así como, Peter estaba encendiendo la televisión, pero nada pasó. Mm -hmm. But nothing But no, happened. No. Turn, it, turn it on. Yo También tiene pass. sentido así como lo dice. It makes sense. But uh -huh. if I think it's better like Peter turned on the TV, but nothing was happening. What's happening? Okay. It's okay. The sentence. Thank uh -huh. you, Miss. But. Teacher is here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you out of it's a long. It's a long story, teacher. We it's have a very long story. It's a romantic story, teacher. Romantic huh? story. Okay. <laughs> okay. Teacher. How did this happen? Our grade was night, teacher. Uh huh. Night. Este dos fue para ver en qué los hemos equivocado. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, teacher. It's true. It's intentional. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, just, teacher. just wrong number eight, teacher. Just wrong number eight. Number eight was wrong? Yes. We checked. Yes. Uh, was walking, but the right answer was is walked. Walked. Okay, I'm yes, gonna teacher. trust you. I'm gonna trust you. Okay, I'm no, gonna teacher. trust you. Yes, yes. Okay, 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 okay. True. I, be I believe you. Let's say I believe you. Maybe. Maybe with the con la escritura with the typing we have trouble. Peter was turning, turning, turning on. Turning. Let me see the grade, please. Para no estar, no arriba. Oh, 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 oh. This? No. Eh, arriba sale el nota. Up, up, up. 90%. Okay. 
Five. Yeah. Five of the thing. Así Maybe no me las we... primeras. Ah, ok, ok, ok. ¿Por qué me las dejaron sin contestar? Eh, las contestamos, pero no hay problema. Oh, oh. So oh. In our mind. ¿Se puede hacer otra vez? Oh, but yes, but I don't think, I don't know if we have time for that. Um, I don't think we have time for that. But yeah, maybe, so just tell me. Okay, number no, one. Just tell uh -huh. me, number one was what was, was flying. Was number continue? two. Number yes, two. Continue? It was no, no, I mean, number two, waited or were waiting? We're waiting. We're waiting. Okay, number three, turn or was turning? Um, turn. 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 Okay, perfect. Um, when their mother called their ch the children, Played games or were playing games? Were playing games. Okay, perfect. Five, Sue was washing the dishes when the phone rang or Sue washed the dishes when the phone rang? Was washing. Okay, my father were cooking or cooked? Um, it's the number six is were cooking. Oop, that is incorrect, it's cooked. Cooked. Yeah. Jim was breaking or broke his leg when he was playing golf. Bro. Yeah, uh, perfect. Uh, broke. My brother was jumping on the bed when my broke. mom. Uh, my mom was, my brother is simple pass. Walked, okay. Walked. Uh, someone was taking Peter's bag or someone took Peter's bag while he was making a phone call. Simple pass. Took. took. And when I arrived or when I was arriving, I went to the kitchen. Uh, the uh, pass continues. Was no, arrived. arrived. Yeah. Arrived. Yes. Simple pass. Yes. Yeah, but the, the big majority, you have them right. Okay, perfect. It's a weird. Lost the Hi, Marcos. <laughs> Hi, Hello. Marcos. You're talking to your friends. Okay, perfect. Hello. Okay, uh, let's start. Um, yes, I, I went to the breaker rooms and some of you had grades that were like, what? You said you did it on purpose to, to have, I, I don't know. Some of you didn't answer the first part. And some of you, I don't know, said, no sacamos nada, teacher. But <laughs> yeah, teacher we had cool. an issue. <laughs> okay, okay. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. Excellent students. Excellent students, yes. And also, when I went there, I realized, when I realized that you have a problem that we need to fix. For example, when you pronounce the word cooked, it's not cooked, it's cooked. Cooked. Excellent, cooked. Thank you, Janet. Yeah, so some of you were saying the words in the simple past, the regular form specifically, like they were written. For example, play it. It's not play it, it's played. Played. So I'm seeing right now that you know the rules, but you were just saying it incorrect, or maybe it was other people. Because remember, there are rules to voiceless and voiced. Okay, so tomorrow in the class, I'm going to teach you a technique that is very easy to identify if it's gonna be t, the, 
or wanted because wanted when the, maybe mm. when the war ending in the on um and on, on sound vibration mm -hmm. you used uh, ed id I <laughs> yeah, but you're getting, you have the idea in it. Yes, you have the idea. Yes. The idea is there, but we just need to put it together. Okay. So tomorrow I'm going to teach you a pronunciation technique that is going to help you to identify if it is D, T, or E, D sound. Okay. So because okay. today we, we, we run out of time, but yeah, tomorrow I'm going to teach you. Okay. This is good. Okay. Perfect. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Please be working on the platform because that's important. And come tomorrow, come to tomorrow's class because I'm gonna teach you that technique. Yep. Perfect. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. 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 B